to my channel today we're gonna do a little bake with me i guess because we had a lot of ripe oh my gosh i'm so out of breath from running here we have a lot of ripe bananas in our house i decided to make this recipe that i made so many times before it's moist I hate that word and chewy banana oatmeal cookies i love oatmeal cookies i love bananas so the combination together is really good to make this even better half the batch i'm gonna do chocolate chip banana oatmeal and the other half I'm going to do plain because everyone in my family is really picky and doesn't like chocolate chips in their cookies. Don't know how we're related. This recipe makes like 40 cookies. So we're going to half the recipe. 20 cookies is still a lot and they're like really small. I kind of want to half the half, but we're just going to do half. I don't know fractions, but half of a half, a fourth of an egg. I already need half an egg, which is kind of difficult. But let's get started. I also asked you guys on Instagram, follow me on Instagram here, to ask me some questions. And I got a few. I got a lot of inappropriate questions from my sister that we're going to ignore. I'm going to answer some of the other ones. So first thing we have to do is get butter, brown sugar, sugar, egg, and vanilla, and banana, and mix that. And then you add all like the dry ingredients, and then you raise it down. It's like really fast, this recipe. But let's start off with a question, and then I'll answer that while we're mixing and stuff. First question is, how long does it snow where you live? So, so we have half a cup of banana, add that in. We're currently in, where did my paper towel go? We're currently in the month of April, and I think Saturday, the 12th or the 13th, it was a snowstorm. It was actually a blizzard outside, but the thing is, it wasn't that cold out, so the snow wasn't, like, staying on the ground, but, like, it was snowing like crazy but once the snow hit the ground it was kind of melting so last year in april we also had a snowstorm around this time like last year and honestly it depends like the last time it snowed still but basically like starting october 30th november 1st a little bit sometimes before like halloween it snows but like november to like late april it snows basically here but it's not like continuous snow because sometimes we have like no snow. It all depends. Toronto likes to be picky. But yeah, right now there's no snow. And I'm hoping it's like kind of snowing though. Like it's kind of like raining and snowing. But let's hope it doesn't actually like continue to snow because I do not want snow on Easter. Like sometimes we have snow on Easter here. I'm hoping for a hot Easter so that cute like summer spring dress. But speaking of Easter, I can't believe Easter is this weekend. That is so crazy. Where the heck? the time go i can't believe it's already april time is going by way too fast yes buddy my cats are going crazy this morning jasper was acting actually crazy he kept he always like runs and then like jumps in the in air and then just lands don't know why i think he finds that fun he creates obstacle courses for himself and like he's so weird like he'll do like laps and like certain like He'll do like laps or something. Like he'll create like a little thing to run. He'll just keep doing that and like see if he can beat himself or something. Cause like the way he does it, it's like he's in a competition with himself. Which says an egg is two tablespoons, but this is two tablespoons and this isn't half the egg. So I think I'm gonna do like two tablespoons of the egg because here there's still, I feel like that's half and hopefully these work. I forget what we put in here. We put butter, brown sugar, sugar, egg, I need to do vanilla and then we can start mixing. Awesome. I need half a teaspoon. I hope I'm following this correctly. Speaking of this vanilla, when I bought it, we only buy pure vanilla because my mom says the artificial one like just doesn't taste the same in baking. I don't really know the difference, but we buy the real one, which is really expensive. So this was on the shelf. There was a whole like rack of beet like this size. And there was a sign underneath it said 2 dollars like vanilla. I'm like, whoa, that's like really cheap for vanilla. Why is it so cheap? The sign was underneath all of them and there was nothing else around. There was just like these vanillas and then a different brand of vanilla. And it said like Clubhouse Vanilla 2 dollars I'm like, okay, I maybe it's like about to expire or something and they're trying to get rid of it and that's why it's 2 dollars So I leave the store and then I didn't really realize until I come home that this was actually $18.99. And I thought it was 2 dollars So I kind of wanted to return it, but we do use a lot of vanilla in this house. But $18.99 for this, like, we should just put the fake stuff. It's literally $1.99. But yeah, next one, you should actually read the signs. That's not good. And I was wondering when I was paying, like, why is the bill so expensive? Like, it shouldn't be that much. Oh, yeah, another Oh, my. I broke it. What? How did I do that? Another question is where I get my clothes from or like where I like shopping the best. On Monday, I posted a video of like shop with me and like I went to the mall and like went shopping. 
And while we were there, I was like thinking of like, oh, like what other stores can you go to to like try and close? And I kind of realized like I kind of hate like all the stores at the mall. Like I kind of like shopping at Zara, but it kind of angers me because like the quality is like not that great and like it's kind of like pricey some items like some items are, like $60 and the quality is like sucks I like Zara for their basics they have like really good basics that like actually they last like quite a, a while like so weird it's supposed to look like this I don't think it is what the heck was that Mason what? Where are you? I don't see you. What was I talking about? I was talking about clothes. Oh yeah, so I like Zara. Oh, hi little boy, you're so cute. I'll go to like H&M, but like, I kind of hate H&M too because their sizing is like so strange. Oh my gosh, these cats just don't shut up. I actually really like Old Navy for like their jeans. They're like so affordable and like they actually fit really good. I don't even know, I like American Eagle. American Eagle's good. And I like Urban Outfitters, but like I really only shop there online because in store, I feel like it just overwhelms me. I don't know. I prefer shopping online. Plus, you get a lot of good deals at online because they always have so many sales. But I feel like majority of my closet is Forever 21 because of like the rage of Forever 21 when it like came out. And like all of high school, that's all I shopped, literally. And like garage. I have a lot of items from garage. I like Aerie too. That's technically American Eagle. I'm not adding clothes in this because I just never do. They smell horrible and I don't want to use them yeah okay the next question is what is my favorite thing about photography don't really know how to answer that first of all i feel like i'm like the worst photographer in the world which is so bad because i took so many courses on it but i just feel like i can never like get the vision like in my head like through into a picture i always have like these amazing ideas i'm like oh this is gonna look so good and then when i actually take a picture i feel like it just like doesn't come out good and, like i always struggle with that i don't know why I just can't get the vision. Like I really love pictures, but I prefer videos over pictures. So like if we go on a trip, I'm mainly taking videos rather than pictures. But like all my life when I was little, that's all I would do is just take pictures. I've gone through so many cameras because I would just take them everywhere. Like everywhere I went, I would have that. Like a camera. And I was always taking pictures. It's more like memorable pictures. So I'm taking memorable pictures. So my favorite thing about photographs is obviously the memory it captures. This forgetting something also i used whole wheat flour i was supposed to mention that before but i put the flour in off camera i think honestly whole wheat flour makes the baked goods taste better i don't know why but it does like they actually taste 10 times better if you use it i feel like whole wheat flour is more flavor let's make sure i didn't forget anything once i like made I was making like chocolate cookies and I go to like spoon the cookies out and I realized I didn't even add the cocoa powder and then I had to like add it last minute which was a horrible idea because like it was just not mixing in properly because obviously you're supposed to add that like in one of the first ingredients as they are chocolate cookies. See if I'm forgetting anything. I can't bake and vlog like it's just impossible. Let's hope the counter's clean. Okay, brown sugar, butter, egg, vanilla, mashed banana, flour, cinnamon, bake. Oh my gosh, I did add baking soda. Ugh! Idiot. I was wondering why they weren't putting any baking soda or baking powder in this. Half a teaspoon. Thank goodness I checked. This is why I can't vlog and do this. This is the last time baking and vlogging. I <laughs> hope oh, this still works. I can't believe I forgot to add it. Oh my gosh, this smells so amazing. I might add in a little extra cinnamon. Cinnamon in this just makes it taste 10 times better. Always extra cinnamon. Oh my gosh, it smells like apples, strangely. Right now it looks like this. It should be like really thick. I'm gonna be here now probably for like the next hour doing these in like batches because it makes so many cookies. Every time I do this, I'm here for like an hour just baking cookies. Okay, tablespoon of dough on the thing. I really like smaller cookies. I just enjoy cookies when they're very like small and very flat. I just think they taste better like that. But I'm also gonna get some like sliced bananas and then put it on top so in the oven it like bakes and it gets all caramelized and it's so amazing. I do that every time I make anything related to like bananas. It's like banana bread, banana muffins. Put sliced banana on top. Game changer. It says the cookies fly in the oven but they don't. So if you want them flat, you have to like flatten them yourself. And they don't really expand that much. And I found the key to 
like making them cook properly is like you cook them for eight minutes just like normal and at six minutes you turn the oven on convection i didn't even answer any questions so i was too busy being so distracted and messing up my recipe i hope i'm not putting these too close together so i honestly can't remember but i don't think they expand let's see if these actually turn out though since i forgot to add baking soda baking soda is what helps rise the cookies i think i could be wrong because i don't really know key to making chocolate chips stay melty in cookies and stuff is using mini chocolate chips and semi-sweet semi-sweet for some reason i find like actually stays melty and not just like hard i feel like if you cook with milk chocolate it like hardens and then they're not like melty when you like bite into them like these chocolate chips will like stay melted up until like the next day like when you eat it like it'll still be like i don't know like not hard today is a very very gloomy day I just like cannot wait for like the sunny days to happen here. I feel like this week was actually very nice. And then this weekend was so miserable and like rainy, snowy, very, very cold. One day we're in t-shirts and then the next day we're in winter jacket. Now you get spliced banana and you put it on top of the cookie. This is going to taste so good. Put these on the oven. Then I'll show you guys what they look like after. I do have enough in here probably to make like six more cookies and then those ones I'll probably do without banana. But I'm not going to film that. We'll just film the end product. The so key with these cookies is you have to slightly underbake them because when you take them out, they're gonna look raw, but they're not raw. Once they sit, they like harden to like the perfect chewiness. Because if you overbake them and then they sit, they're gonna get like hard as rock. This is cook for 10 to 12, but I cook them for like eight minutes. Mmm, it's really so good. That's wrong. What is it? Want a cookie? You can't have a cookie. You're a cat. No, you can't have cookies.